In the series of videos, we have been discussing about the proteins and enzymes in prokaryotic and eukaryotic transcription. Now, in this video, we will be discussing about the mechanism of prokaryotic transcription. The prokaryotic transcription proceeds in three steps, initiation, elongation and termination. And this process is driven by DNA dependent RNA polymerase enzyme which transcribes the DNA. The RNA polymerase is a core enzyme which is having different subunits. It has got alpha, beta, beta prime and omega subunits. The alpha subunit is further divided into two further subunits, alpha 1 and alpha 2 subunit. Moreover, for this enzyme to work, we have sigma factors. And E. coli has seven different sigma factors. Like it has got sigma 70, sigma 54, 38, 32, 28, 24 and 18. The sigma 70 is called the housekeeping sigma factor since it's involved in the transcription of all major genes. Rest of the sigma factors have been shown in the table, which transcribes the following genes like we have sigma 32, it transcribes the heat shock genes during stress. Now let's jump towards the prokaryotic promoter first. It has got RNA start point where from the transcription starts, that is the plus one position. Then it has got minus 10 region called the Pribnow box followed by minus 35 region. And prokaryotes also have up element as shown in the diagram. The minus 10 region has consensus sequence as TAT AAT, while as minus 35 region has got TTGACA sequence. And to these regions of promoter, the RNA polymerase binds. The table shown here has listed different promoters in E. coli of different genes. If you look at the functions of these elements on promoter, we see minus 10 region, that's the primum box. It has got the function of transcription initiation. Then we have the minus 35 region. It has only the function of transcription rate. That means it governs the transcription rate during the prokaryotic transcription. Then we have the up element. It shows interaction with alpha CTT domain of polymerase enzyme. So these are the different functions of these elements. Now let's see the transcription process in detail. In this diagram, we have a DNA molecule having promoter and start point shown. And we also have a RNA polymerase and sigma factor separately. When the transcription is to begin, the sigma factor combines with RNA polymerase enzyme first and renders it into its active form called the hollow enzyme. Now this hollow enzyme, this active form of RNA polymerase recognizes the promoter on DNA and binds to it. And first of all, it causes unwinding at transcription start point, which gives us the open complex form of DNA. From here, the transcription initiation kicks in, where first of all, the polymerase tries to initiate the process, but fails to do so. So we call it about to initiation, because the polymerase is not able to go beyond the threshold nucleotide number, which is approximately 10 nucleotides. But once polymerase stabilizes and is able to go beyond threshold 10 nucleotides so that way we call that is the successful initiation so from here the elongation mode starts where the nucleotides are added to the RNA transcript now we see the polymerase orientation also matters here because we know polymerase synthesizes RNA transcript in 5 prime to 3 prime direction so RNA polymerase that moves from left to right makes RNA by using the bottom strand as template strand and polymerase that moves from right to left uses upper strand as a template strand and synthesizes RNA molecule. So this concludes the transcription initiation plus elongation and its termination will be discussed in the next video. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Do consider supporting my work on Patreon and also make sure to subscribe this channel. Thanks.